Doctor of Forty, The Believer, and this is one of the Hameen Suras, but the, four, the first of the seven Hameen starting su Suar, and here goes. In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful, Hameen, the revelation of the book is from God, the Almighty, the All-Knowing, forgiver of sin and receiver of penitence, vehement in chastisement, long-suffering, there is no God but He, to Him shall be the final gathering, and like to go back there for a second and t point out the fact that uh, giver of sin, the acceptor of repentance, the severe and punishment, the bestower to him, you know, so suffering isn't in the modern way of thinking of, it's not really there, but okay. There's no God but he, to him shall be the final gathering. None but the misbelievers gainsay the signs of God, but let not their poster, uh, prosperity in the land deceive thee. The people of Noah and the confederates after them have brought the charge of imposture before these. Each nation schemed against their apostle to lay violent hold on him, and disputed with vain words to refute the truth. Therefore did I lay violent hold on them, and how great was my chastisement. Thus it is that thy Lord's sentence, that the inmates shall be of the fire, was accomplished upon the infidels. Uh, misbelievers, I don't they who bear the throne, and they who encircle it, celebrate the praise of their Lord, and believe in him, and implore forgiveness for the believers. O oh, our Lord, thou embracest all things in mercy and knowledge. Forgive therefore those who turn to thee, and follow thy path. Keep them away from the pains of hell. O our Lord, and bring them into the gardens of Eden, which thou hast promised to them, and to the righteous ones of their fathers, and their wives, and their children. For thou art the Almighty, the All-Wise, and keep them from evil. For on him hast thou mercy, whom on that day thou shalt keep from evil. And this will be the great fellow city but to the infidel shall cry misbelievers shall a voice cry surely the hatred of god is more grievous than your hatred of yourselves when ye were called to the faith and remain unbelievers they shall say twice our lord hast thou given us death and twice hast thou given us life and we acknowledge our sins, is there no way to escape? You know, the union of life and death in the womb. Life in the womb, death in the womb, is birth and then death. Outside the womb. This had befallen you. For that when one God was proclaimed to you, ye believed not, but when partners had been united with him, ye believed. But judgment belongeth unto God, the high, the great. It is he who showeth you his signs, and sendeth down supplies to you from heaven. But none will receive warning, save he who turneth to God. Call then on God, offering him a pure worship, though the misbelievers abhor it, of exalted grade, of the throne possessed. He sendeth forth the Spirit at his own behest, at whom, on whomsoever of his servants he pleaseth, that he may warn of the day of the meeting. 
So the Holy Spirit is Gabriel in the Bible. Christians pretend it's part of the Trinity, but it's just Gabriel. Jibril, Voho Manu, Blue Bird, Big Fly, whatever you want to call. The day when they shall come forth, when not that concerneth them shall be hidden from God, with whom shall be the, pr the power on that day, with God, the one, the almighty, on that day shall every soul be recompensed as it hath deserved. No injustice on that day, verily God will be swift to reckon. Warn them then of that approaching day, when men's hearts shall rise up, choking them into their throats. The evil doer shall have no friend or intercessor who shall prevail, and God knoweth the deceitful of the eye, and what men's breasts conceal, and everything that will God decide with truth, but nothing shall those gads whom men call on besides him decide. Verily God, the hearer, the beholder, he, have they never joined in this land, and seen what hath been the end of those who flourished before them, mightier were they in strength than these, and their traces in the land, yet God took them in their sins. Yet God took them in their sins, and there was none to defend them against God. This is because the apostles came to them with proofs of their mission, and they believed not. So God took them in hand, for he is mighty, vehement in punishing. Moreover, we sent, had sent Moses of old with our signs and with clear authority to Pharaoh and Haman and Karun, and they said, Sorcerer, imposter. So, Karun, exalter, uh, the one who exalts the name, you know, he was the chief scribe. Haman, house of Ammon, chief priest, and it also narrows down which Pharaoh it was really narrows down which fair it was. And they said sorcerer imposture. And when he came and when he came to them from our presence with truth they said Slay the sons of those who believe as he doth, and save their females alive. But stratagem of unbelievers issued only in failure. And Pharaoh said, Let me alone that I may kill Moses, and let him call upon his Lord. I fear lest he change your religion, or cause disorder to shew itself in the land. And Moses said, I seek refuge with my Lord, and your Lord, from every proud one who believeth not, in the day of reckoning. And man of the family of Pharaoh who was a believer, but in his face said, Will ye slay a man because he saith, My Lord is God, when he hath already come to you with proofs from your Lord? And if he be a liar, on him will be his lie. But if he be a man of truth, part at least of what he threateneth will fall upon you. Truly God guideth not him who is a transgressor, a liar. O oh, my people, this day is the kingdom yours, the eminent of the earth. But who shall defend us from the vengeance of God, if it come on us? Pharaoh said, I will have you see only what I see, and in a right way only I will guide you. Then said he who believed, O oh, my people, truly I fear for you the like of the day of the allies, the like of the state of the people of Noah, and Ad, and Thamoud, and of those who came after them. Yet God willeth not injustice to his servants. And O oh, my people, I indeed fear for you the day of mutual outcry, the day when ye shall be turned back from the judgment and to hell. No protector shall you have then against God, and he whom God shall mislead, no guide shall there be for him. 
Moreover, Joseph had come to you before with clear tokens, but you cease not to doubt of the message with which he had come to you, until when he died, ye said, God, God will by no means raise up an apostle after him, thus God misleadeth him, who is the transgressor, the doubter, they who gainsay the signs of God without authority, having come to them, are greatly hated by God, and those who believe God sealeth up every proud contemptuous heart. Let's say. Hey, that sounds sounds a bit off. God's angry. About things, but seal the heart, the power, the hindered, nothing, true believer, not need to disbelieve. Oh my P and huh. Got where I was for a second. Uh. And Pharaoh said, O Haman, build for me a tower that I may reach the avenues, and the avenues of the heavens, and may mount it to the God of Moses, for I verily deem him a liar. And thus the evil of his doings was made fear seeming to Pharaoh, and he turned away from the path of but the artifice of Pharaoh ended only in ruin. And he who believed said, O oh, my people, follow me, into the right way will I guide you. O oh, my people, this present life is only a passing joy, but the life to come is the mansion that abideth. But who shall of broad evil shall not be recompensed but with its like but whoso shall have done the things that are right whether a male or female and is a believer these shall enter paradise good things unreckoned shall they enjoy therein and oh my people how is it that i bid you to salvation but that ye bid me to the fire Ye invite me to deny God, and join with them gods of whom I know nothing, but I invite you to the mighty, the forgiving. No doubt is there that they to whom ye invite me are not to be invoked either in this world or in the world to come, and that unto God is our return, and that the transgressors shall be the inmates of the fire. Then shall ye remember what I am saying to you, unto you, and to God commit I my case. Verily God no holdeth his servant, so God preserved him from the evils which they had planned, and the woe of the punishment encompassed the people of Pharaoh. It is the fire to which they shall be exposed morning and evening, and on that day when the hour shall arrive, bring the people of Pharaoh into the severe fierest punishment, and when they shall wrangle together in the fire, the weak shall say to those who had borne themselves so proudly, It is we, you who we followed, will ye therefore relieve us from aught in the fire? And the proud one shall say, Verily we all are in it, for and for now hath God judged between his servants. And they who are in the fire shall say to the keepers of hell, Implore thou thy your lord, that he would give us ease, but for one and day from this torment, they shall say, Come, came not your apostles to you with the tokens, they shall say yes. When they shall say, Cry ye, then aloud, but the cry of the unbelievers shall be only in vain. Assuredly, this present life will be succor to our apostles and those who shall have believed. And on the day when the witness shall stand forth, a day whereon the plea of the evildoers shall not avail them, but there shall be a curse. 
and there's the well with that boat in hell and the be and of old we gave Moses the guidance, and we made the children of Israel the inheritors of the book. A guidance and warning to men endued with understanding. Therefore be steadfast, thou, and patient. For true is the promise of God, and seek pardon for thy fault. And celebrate the praise of thy Lord at evening and at morning. And to those who cavail at the signs of God without authority already having reached them not is theirs but pride in their breast but they shall not be shall not succeed is there but pride in their breast but they shall not succeed fly thou for refuge then to god for he is the hearer the beholder greater surely than the creation of man is the creation of the heavens and of the earth but most men know it not moreover the blind and the seeing and the evil doer and they who believe and do the things that are right shall not be deemed equal how few ponder this hey the hour will surely come there is no doubt of it but me most men believe it not and your lord saith call upon me i will hearken unto you but they who turn in disdain from my service shall enter hell with shame it is god who hath ordained the night for your rest and the day to give you light verily god is rich in bounties to men but most men render not the tribute of thanks this is god your lord creator of all things there is no god there but he why then do ye turn away from him yet thus are they turned aside from who gainsay the signs of god it is god who hath given you the earth as a sure foundation and o'er it build up the heaven and formed you and made your forms beautiful and feedeth you with good things this is god your lord Blessed then be God, the Lord of the worlds. He is the living one. No God is there but he. Call then upon him and offer him a pure worship. Praise be to God, the Lord of the worlds. Say, verily, I am forbidden to worship what ye call on besides God. After that the clear tokens have come to me from my Lord, and I am bidden to surrender myself to the Lord of the worlds. He it is who created you of the dust, then of the germs of life, then of thick blood, then brought you out of forth infants, then letteth you reach your full strength, then became old men, let some of you die first. And reach the ordained term, and this that haply ye may understand, it is he who giveth life and death, and when he decreeth a thing, he saith of it be, and it is, Confecun. Uh, remember, that's uh, the he. God's never referred to as male in the Quran. So that's, but in English we have that too. In the same sense that the who and the huwa in the Arabic is sometimes even referred to a female, but in the case of God, it's neither. Say, verily, I am forbidden to worship what you call him besides God. And after that, the clear tokens have come to me from my Lord. I am bidden to surrender myself to the Lord of the worlds. He, oh, he didn't do this. Is it 71? His numbering is 71. Seest thou not those who cavail at the signs of God, how they are turned aside? They who treat the book and the messages with wit we have been sent 
Our sent ones as the lies shall know hereafter when the collars be on their necks and the chains to drag them into hell. Then in the fire shall they be burned. Then it shall be said to them, Where are they whom ye made the objects of joint worship with God? They shall say, They have vanished away from us. Yea, it was not on which we called heretofore. Thus God leads the unbelievers astray. This for you, because of your unrighteous insolence and immoderate joys on earth, enter ye the portals of hell to abide therein forever, and wretched the abode of the haughty ones. Therefore be thou the steadfast in patience, for the promise of God is truth, and whether we shall make thee see part of the woes which we have threatened them, or whether we cause thee to, get out, to die first, unto us shall they be brought back. And we have already sent apostles before thee, of some we have told thee, and of others we have told thee nothing. But no apostle had the power to work a miracle unless by the leave of God. But when God's behest cometh, everything will be decided with truth, and then they perish, which who treated it as a vain thing it is god who hath given you the cattle and then on some of them ye may ride and of some ye may eat other advantages to do you derive from them that by and that by them ye may effect the projects ye cherish in your breast for on them and on ships ye are born and he showeth you signs which then of the signs of god will ye deny have they not journeyed in this land and seen what hath been the end of those who flourished before them more were they than these in number and mightier in strength and greater are the traces remaining in the land yet their labors availed them nothing and when their apostles had came to them with the tokens they exalted them in what they possessed of knowledge, but that the retribution in which they scoffed encompassed them. And when they beheld our vengeance, they said, We believe in God alone, and we believe in the deities we once associated with them. But their faith, after such had witnessed vengeance, profited them not such the procedure of god with regard to his servants who flourished of old and then the unbelievers perished and even the children of israel had left, had more prophets than they know of. Uh, they say there was about a hundred, but they only have mention of eighty-three prophets that among the children of Israel writings. Um, but Muhammad knew there were far more prophets than he knew stories of, and he gives them. Verse.